Look, we'll just go out for a bit. I like big rocks and I cannot lie. Good afternoon. Welcome to Just Going Out for a Bit. Today we've got a rock off. A rock off looking at the big boys of the um, rock sack world. Both these strapping young things are 110 litres apiece. And my job in the next X amount of minutes is to go through and find out is there a better one or are they just as good as each other. Right, stay with me and um, we'll see what could suit you and what could suit your budget. Alright then, see you in a minute. Okay, quick introduction. Belgium. Military surplus issue 110 litre rucksack. They almost look identical in a lot of ways. But this had, this had a form of life, no doubt, being carried by some strapping young person as well with far too much fitness. This one, which I've got for military first, um, on the MFH brand is a Flactan, I suppose, Bundeswehr inspired rucksack. Because um, who doesn't like Flactan? It's lovely, just as the camouflage um, jigsaw pattern on the Belgian rucksack. Okay, brass tacks, let's get down to it. So you the German flecked arm, 110 litre rucksack. Comes with the bottom section, comes with the middle section, comes with the top, top box, side pockets aside. Lengthwise, that's a guesstimation. They're about 80 centimetres in length. Okay. <clears throat> On the outside is a strong, strong, strong fabric which isn't going to rip on thorns or trees, it's not going to come undone on you, everything else. Um, what we should have to note is the insides because, and let's have a look, all the insides for this is covered with a rubberized insides. There we go. So much so, I should be take a Sip of water. And so far, without getting very strange, this is 100% waterproof. What about yours? Now, the Belgian. 110 litre rucksack. How big is this? If I pull out to 80 again, let's have a look. Yeah, that's 80. The um, fabric is a tad more thicker than that. Still strong as anything, it really is. 
the internals, um, both the rocket bags and the insides don't have that rubberized green stuff. However, it is it is rubberized, and there's no harm in us doing a waterproof test. Again with my surprise, surprise. Cheers. So, rolls off that brand new, slightly different fabric between, between the two. I was too. Now, Of water. It has run off, but there is a little bit of um, seepage into the material. But nope, waterproof. So far, so good. Should we talk about the top? This little thing here, which is front opening, comes on the top, and um, oh, I've got my Belgian wall spruce here, but anyway rubberized on the top comes with a um stringy stringy not stringy elastic sort of thing not a bad zip not a bad zip and what you're getting you're getting about uh, about 35 centimeters by 17 by about 12. So, see if you can beat that then. Now, the flex arm, as you can see, it's a rear opening. Now, as you can see, I've got my waterproofs ready to rock and roll, of course. Lectar rubberized inside. And what have you got? Uh, 32 centimeters. Get this box out a little bit. By about 23. By about. Yeah, I'd say about 10. But it does have some kind of webbing on here for your molly. What's going to go on there? I really can't tell you. Um, however, there's no way you could get clips to attach something on the top. I've seen this attached, but you can, you can get a loop go on there. And um, so that's that. Internally, on the top, you've got also a pocket on the inside, like these guys. So the inside does it have a pocket on the inside? Yes, it does. So, so far, 
equals between the two. How about the rockets? So if I was to go there, the rocket pockets both attached each side is rather chunky zip down the bottom you got about four centimeters between top and thirty three centimeters of length and you can get all manners of stuff it's massive in here try to think of something I can go ah bear with me Wasn't that slick that falling over? One decathlon pillow. Look at that. And plenty of stuff to go either side. One cook set. Plenty side with that much on top and either side. Let's see if the Germans can outmatch that. <coughs> so, reflect on just as chunky as the, as the Belgians, just as chunky. Slight difference on here is the flaps allow you to go all the way down, all the way down, so you could place your pillow nicely in there then zip it up or even your cook set that goes in there both have equal amounts of sides and space but more stuff because that's the whole point of having 110 litre rucksacks is to give yourself space for all this stuff it's not the actual carrying which bothers me it's just I just like having the space to bring stuff. So dimensions. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Top to bottom, you've got about 40. I'd say about 40. And that's about 22. And you've got about I'd say eight. Once it's all put in there. So Now, I think the Belgians have stolen March on here because I think the Belgians better show you what else they can carry. So while the Germans were snazzing up there, reflect arm. The have some practical germ, um, Belgians. Look at this. So you've got all that space under the rocket pocket. So the Belgians will leave the pocket at the bottom. Now, so that means you can have your tactical pillow and just inside you could bring your tactical, I don't know why anyone would want to do this, hatchets along with them, you know, and that would fit quite nicely down there. So you almost could have something double the size, which could be a rifle if need be, as Survival Russia, great YouTube site, as um, shown on there. Or you could put a camera tripod. Uh, because we don't have um, guns in the UK, well not really anyway, um, but that's very useful. So this steals a march on the old Germans. 
how about we look at a bit of bottom action while we're here. On the bottom, you have got clips to strengthen that in case the zip busts. You have rubberized case bottom, rubberized internals, and the all important separator down there. And that would fit a rather large sleeping bag. Should we have a look? One DD sleeping bag. A lot of rucksacks are a lot smaller. But this will fit in there. No bother. So on these cold every morning you're sorted let's see how much bottom action the Germans can take those Belgians eh? those Belgians so anyway Back in the realms of BMW, let's see how quick we can get the DD in here. Okay, I will admit it's not as fast it was large to get that in there. This still does come with clips either side. Spring it down. It has these very strange things on the bottom. So it's looking good so far. Had that for a year and a bit now. Love it. And to go with all my lectern stuff, I thought I needed a decent sized thing. See my so I've chosen this one. Now the insides. Both come with an extender, both come with metal frames on this one. I don't know if I can show you, but if it'll come out. You might better see on that, you might not. But above all, that's probably rather good both rucksacks have front and rear attachments to, to pick up and go 
So we're getting to the end of that thing now. Now, um, views on this so far? No. This isn't squaddy proof. This is made not for horses. So therefore, things can't be as good. The zip, not broken, the flappy thing broke on this one. So, not, not good marks. And last night, as I was getting this out of storage, I took a step backwards and stepped on one of these things. There's only two and it's bust completely. So a little bit fragile there. It comes with these bungee elasticated things. I haven't got a clue what they really do, but they come with attachments on the side. So you could get some webbing on there to place something on the front. So that can't be bad. And it came with this thing, which attached on the back here, went through the webbing, and for some bizarre reason, has an attachment on the inside of the bag. And I could not work out the reason why they'd be doing that. German pack, in good marks though. You can extend your top lid. I cover this to give, to give yourself even more space to take, bring even more stuff back. So very, very good. Very good. Okay. I fancy a drink. So both long-term reviews, both come up. Hmm. While we're here, look on the back. Lots of good padding on the back. Has a clip attachment to stop us with these around the shoulders from it falling off. And it's, it's a good amount of padding. The, the walks I have done up with it, very, very good indeed. Very good indeed. So make of it what you will. Good. Good. Right. So final thoughts on this. carries all I want, carries all I want, doesn't go wrong on me, accessibility of getting the stuff is all there, plenty of space, plenty of space. The um, what's it called, what's it called, the MFH brand here, make a smaller rucksack like 25 litres or something which I use for my day-to-day -day taking camera stuff around and day trips or the like and they have an interesting molly type sort of stuff which could be of use on this if you are listening you know you could put it down here to put molly stuff on there on there you know and that's very useful well I'll give a picture on how it looks so, yes, gets my, gets my luck. What we'll do in a second, we'll fill this up um, with an approximation of what it looks like. And you can see what it looks like on me. Right, 
now to the Belgians. Belgian rucksack, also got a metal frame, everything is secured inside, no bits of metal hanging out, as the usual toggles and sort of stuff. Very very sturdy clips, they're not going to go wrong. You've got your carry handle on the front, You've got your carry handle on the back. Webbing, strapping, quite good, quite good. With the usual belt of earthy hips. There seems to be a little bit more forethought on this sort of strapping but they're much of a muchness so I've had this for say a while and I really rate it really do never let me down and it all goes very well with the Bel Belgian jigs pattern so yes I recommend this and yes I recommend the other. Of the two, I've had this the longest, so I've grown to appreciate it and throw it on the floor and get it all mucky. It never lets me down. It never lets me, it's very, very good. So it doesn't have any other webbing. It's even got a little plastic thing on the back for your name, in case you forget you who you are at three o'clock in the morning. Right, so that's that. I hope you've enjoyed, found it informative, um, slightly strange for me talking to myself, you know. So all I've got to say is, fond farewells, see you again, I hope you found it interesting. Right, ta-ra. And don't forget to subscribe. Come on, like, subscribe, and all that. Okay. Thanks, see you again.